Hello, today we'll discuss an important illumination trick widely used in architectural rendering, IE's profiles. IE's files describe how light from a lamp is distributed in a room. This data is provided by many manufacturers and can be easily found in internet. It is particularly useful when the light source is partially covered and or some lensing occurs. The light distribution would bake the complex occlusion and lensing phenomena allowing for faster rendering. As a result, it is possible to create a light setup that might show how the lights will look in reality. We'll demonstrate it with a disk light. With light tracer render, any mesh can be turned into an emitter, where the triangles making up the surface act as a large collection of emitters. By default, the light is emitted uniformly in all directions. To model a real-world light source, let's attach the IE's file to the corresponding texture slot. We can additionally adjust the power and color of our light source, as well as its position using the 3D manipulator tool. Note that the light's geometry can be hidden from the camera in the Scene Explorer widget. IE's profiles designed for point light sources, so they work best with small flat lights like squares or disks. There is no reason to use the IE's profile for example spherical light. Let's add a few more light sources to our scene. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next videos.